Hi, amigas. Welcome back to another episode of The Daily Cafecito. <laughs> If you are new here, girl, welcome to the space that helps empower you to become the best fucking version of yourself. Even if it's 1% better, you guys, that is the reason why I make this podcast is because I want to be here to inspire you, to motivate you, and to be the person to tell you that you can do whatever you set your mind to. Y nada te detiene, okay? And if you are not new here, girl, thank you guys for coming back time and time again. It makes me so happy to read your guys' messages and your DMs and just letting me know how much value you guys find in my podcast. And it's just crazy to me because I've always loved listening to things that make me a better person myself. So it's like motivational books. I love listening to motivational podcasts and things like that. I just love to surround myself with the energy that I want to become or the energy that I want to have myself. And it makes me so excited to know that what i digest or pretty much what i intake i am able to digest it to you guys i probably could have found a better word to use but it just makes me so happy you know because i feel like we're spreading positivity and we're spreading a lot of positive vibes around to each other and that makes me so excited because that's exactly why i started this podcast in the first place when i started this podcast you guys i didn't know how i was gonna go i just literally wanted to pour out who I am and the way that I think and what motivates me, what inspires me into an audio form. And I never expected it to be what it is now. And it's so crazy because this has been one of the most, I feel like, popular and most requested content that I get other than like my coffee videos. And I love that because I love to be surrounded by you girls and I love to be surrounded about like through, I love to be surrounded with women who have the same mindset as me and who want to really become the best version of themselves and who are tired of taking shit from people and just really want to better who they are and become successful as fuck. And I love that because I think I manifested it. Not I think. I know that I manifested this community that we have built together. And yeah, you guys, as you could tell, I'm just feeling very grateful. And I know that that comes from going to Mexico, which I'm going to explain to you guys kind of my entire vacation. I did plan on filming a podcast, so I didn't have like gaps. But I kind of knew that I was going to go to relax and kind of to disconnect. So I, di- I decided to focus more on like social media um, as opposed to my podcast and recording episodes. So just more like short form content. <sighs> Guys, it was such a good trip. I feel like I was really able to reflect on so much. And I haven't been to Mexico and it's almost been 10 years. And... I had always told myself that it was because of my husband, Anthony, because he was never allowed to go over there because we went to Zacatecas. And in Zacatecas, for him, it's like a tier three of unsafe state over there in Mexico. So he was never allowed to go. So he never really wanted to ask for permission because he knew he wasn't allowed to go over there. Y tampoco para irnos and him not request it off. And then they find out like he just, yeah, it was just a big risk for us to try to go without permission and so we just never did la lucha you know and of course i could have gone by myself but i feel like i really wanted to experience it with him you know and um so i just never went and it hit me so throughout my entire vacation let me give you guys a little bit of a backstory um i promise you guys this has a lot of value for you too but i want to give you guys the context so you guys can really understand where i'm coming from and kind of why i feel like i reflected so much during this vacation so the last time that i went was in 2014 no was it 20 no like 2012 (gasps) you guys it has been 10 years 10 11 years oh my god i don't even remember but besides the point that the last time that i had gone was a couple years after my grandparents have passed away and they i was super young and the house you guys was still looked kind of like how my vita left it and it was a little bit hard for me to digest and i think at that time it really scarred me because it was very painful and i'm like i've dealt with grief now like three times i would say um now i've dealt it now i've dealt with it now that i'm older but i also dealt with it when i was younger with my grandparents and kind of watching how my dad kind of transitioned himself um anyways we're not gonna get emotional you guys because i think this was a good reflection um 
so anyways when i had gone the last time it still looked kind of like how my grandma had left it and it was a very very hard pill to swallow and i think it affected me more than i knew so i told myself that i hadn't gone back because of anthony but truth be told you guys i could have been back if i wanted to no más que I feel like deep down, like I had like a um, like a small little trauma. I think it really traumatized me to go back and to see my family just get so sad again, knowing that they're not there. Because if they're not there, you guys, se queda la casa sola and there's really nobody there. And if you have ever lost your grandparents, you know that like they're the glue to your family, you know, and it's kind of it's very, very hard. And I feel like it's also hard to see your like a parent lose their parent, you know, because it really lets you know that like your parents are also learning if that makes sense like everyone is human everyone is learning i don't know i feel like it just makes you look at your parents way differently right so anyways this last time that i went i kind of knew what to expect because i kind of set myself up remember how we've talked about those walls that we build within ourselves you guys and we do those walls because those walls get built up inside of you in order for you to not get hurt right because your body thinks that it has to be like in a defense mode and that's what i had i had that wall built and i was already like mentally ready to go because i was like okay i know that i'm gonna go and they're not gonna be there and it's gonna be sad but the thing is is that this time when i went i feel like it was harder than the first time and i think that it was harder because i'm older now and i think that i understand and i appreciate life a lot more and that's the whole point like that's not i feel like que cada quien goes through a point in their life where they really start to feel grateful like you've lost so much you've gone through so much pain that we're you're just so grateful for the good moments and i think that's kind of like where i am in my life where i, I understand and then i'm like dude why am i getting emotional i'm not even trying to get <laughs> emotional but i think i'm in the point in my life where i understand that there's an end you know and i think that it makes me appreciate so much more the good moments and i try not to really dwell into the bad and the negative parts of my life because i know that they're temporary and in order for us to experience good we have to experience the negative and experience the pain because if not we wouldn't understand and we wouldn't know what to do with all of the positive feelings that we have in our life you know and so this time when I went, I got a little bit emotional because the house definitely looked a lot different. I mean, it's been a long time since I had gone back and my dad has done done like a few things around the house and stuff to just make it more like his because I mean, dejaron la casa, which is fine. And I'm like, I never expected it to stay the same. You know, people evolve, things grow like, you know, the house started coming down. So he had to do a lot of different changes. And again, that's fine. You know, and I feel like this time it hit me a lot more because i'm just so much more oh my god why am i getting emotional me not trying hold on <laughs> um it hit me a lot more because i think i'm just a lot more grateful in the point of my life where i'm at because i think i needed to go to kind of like remind myself of how good i have it <laughs> like despite mm, let me take a break hold on let me get some water you guys <laughs> If you're watching this on YouTube, you're literally watching me like, never mind. I probably look all crazy. But if I mean, if you're not watching this on YouTube because you're just kind of listening to the background noise. Anyways, this was this is supposed to be positive, you guys. And it is positive. Um, But when I while being over there, I really realized how fast paced we lived our life. And I think I've always known that there's a difference between knowing something and understanding something i knew that i lived a very fast-paced life like i was always thinking of what the next move was my brain was always in the future never really in the present but mentally i was like oh i'm in the present right but in reality we're not we're always thinking about the next thing the next move and in the future and i feel like when you go to mexico you're really especially if you have family out there you're really sitting there and taking in everything around you and I, yeah, you guys, it's todo bien humilde, like all very, you know, it just makes you look at everything so differently because it's such a slow paced like lifestyle over there. You know, you're very much in the present moment. And I think I really needed a big reminder of that to because as much as you say that you are living the present moment and you're taking everything in as you're going through you guys your mind especially the way that we're raised here in america and i'm gonna say we're raised because this is the way that we're taught we're always taught to think about the next thing and what's coming next and we don't really take the time to slow down and appreciate 
every single present moment that we have and it's kind of sad to think about it and i feel like i needed to go to get that realization again and to get that reminder to just be grateful of where i am because it doesn't matter what it looks like compared to the next person it doesn't matter to me anymore like if my life looks like this person on social media it doesn't matter if my life looks like so and so's life you know i am worried about my own life i'm worrying about experiencing my own experiences i'm worried about going through my own path like i'm just learning to really stay in my lane and not allow anybody else to have access to my emotions to have access to my life and i'm kind of I'm very much in a point, you guys, where I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. Like, this is my life. This is how I'm going to live it. This is who I'm going to allow in. And I started to really realize that, like, I have the power to do all that. And it's crazy because you're probably like, girl, you realize that in 10 days. But yes, like, sometimes I feel like you have to really throw yourself into those moments where you have no choice but to slow down because it really makes you appreciate where you are at. Like, at some point, you wished for everything that you have right now but we're so blind to see it you guys because we're always thinking about what's next and what is more to come you know we're never really sitting down and taking everything in as it comes and i want to share with you guys kind of how i plan on being a little bit more present or how you can be a little more present in your life and just really take in the moments as they come and i think the real key is to i think the key oh my god you guys hold on i have to like repeat myself because i lost my train of thought but the real key you guys to living in the moment and being present is to do everything with intention and with passion and let me explain every single task that you have in front of you or what you're doing you guys do it like it's the last thing you're ever gonna fucking do for example sitting here you guys i had so much anxiety filming this podcast episode because i didn't know what i was gonna say and i was like i'm not gonna plan anything out i just want to let my words come out as they come right and i obviously wanted to do a new setup so i was like okay i'm done half-assing i'm gonna do what i can with what i have but i'm gonna throw my intention and my passion i know what the out i know what i want I know what outcome I want of this episode and that was my intention and that's exactly what I'm doing and it's even taking even the small tasks you guys day-to-day tasks anything that you have ahead of you do it with passion and intention because that's how you appreciate the present moment so it could be as little as say you're cleaning your kitchen i'm over here giving you guys my whole day in my life but i cleaned my kitchen you guys and i did it with the intention that i wanted to declutter i wanted to feel better about how my kitchen looked how my home looks and things like that because i feel like i've neglected my house and my home decor for a very long time and i think it was also too because being a little military spouse um i'm over here giving you guys a backstory but being a military spouse i never truly wanted to decorate my house because i'm like oh we're leaving you know so i was like there's no point on me spending money to decorate the house or buy new things because we're gonna end up leaving in a few years later but i had the way wrong mindset about it you guys because that's already me thinking of the future i'm already setting my tone like the fact that we're gonna be leaving in two years instead of me living in the present moment and it's crazy because you don't realize these things you don't realize these things until you take a step back and you look at your life from outside of the box and i'm like fuck that like from now on everything that i do or that i say i'm gonna do and i'm doing I'm going to put my passion and intention into it. So when I was cleaning my kitchen, girl, I decluttered everything. I was like, hell no, I started this project, so I'm going to do it and I'm going to finish it and I'm going to do it with passion. I'm going to do it like it's the last thing I'm ever going to do. And I, it just gave me like a new boost of motivation, a new boost of inspiration to just really fix my home and be so present in the moment that I'm in because to me like in the back of my mind i'm always like oh this is not going to be my forever home like i know we're going to get a bigger house so nunca me daba gana de to decorate my house because i'm like we're going to move anyway you know my brain was already thinking for myself in the future instead of being present and appreciating the house that i have and then i'm like by doing that i'm blocking any future manifestations you guys because i feel like in order for you to manifest say your dream life or your dream career you have to be able to appreciate where you're at now and what you have now in order to show the universe to show god that 
you're grateful for what you have and you're so thankful for how far you've come and that you're ready to move on for more and guys that fucking trip to mexico literally taught me all that and i think because i'm just a very um i don't know what you call it i'm like a i don't know i like to take it, everything in and i always like to like dissect things i'm always like okay i truly believe that things happen for a reason and i know that my trip over there was to give me more clarity and to give me more of like you know to stop being so fucking spoiled like <laughs> stop thinking that like I don't know. I just feel like because it says I was a little bratty about certain things. And like when I went over there, I'm like, man, like I am just so grateful. And I think also to seeing my family, how much of a very slow life that they live. It was just so nice to just sit back and like relax and be able to be present and talk to them and, you know, kind of catch them up of where I've been. And I'm like, I'm I don't know. It was nice to get out of like the rat race because unfortunately, like I feel like that's how it is here in the U.S. is that we're all in a rat race you guys and i think that's just how we're all like conditioned to think we're all conditioned to think that we have to do better than our peer or we have to do better than whoever's watching this like you know i feel like the u.s really pins us against each other and with my podcast you guys i've loved how much it has connected me with other latinas with other women and i love that like that's the whole point of my podcast you know and i feel like that's what i want i want to be able to build a community that truly truly wants the best for the next person like i don't want it to be like i have to do better than so and so i have to do better than her or whatever you know because that's how we're conditioned to think we're conditioned to think that we have to be the best and that's the thing though there is absolutely no such thing as coming out on number one like we're not in a race if you really try to put life like let's just imagine you guys that our life was truly a race i'm over here thinking about mario kart you guys this is not a mario kart game there is no such thing as first second and third but there is a thing there is a such thing as first second or third within yourself because remember in my last podcast episode we talked about the different versions of ourselves right and i always like to think of that in like three tiers we have the one that comes in first place right which is our highest form our best version of ourself which not all the time we're going to be in first place right sometimes we're going to come in second place where we're kind of like we're you know we're the better version of ourselves, but we're not the best and then you're going to have the third ver the third place person which is going to be the worst version of yourself and it's okay we've all came in third place us ourselves we've all came in second place we have all been in first place you guys and that's okay like you have to be able to be in one place in order to appreciate the other because without coming in third place there is no first place and there is no second place you know what i mean and it really i don't know just showed me that like dang i live a very like i just live so fast like i just live so much in the future I never take the time to really be present, but now from now on, this is me being raw and real, you guys. Like, this is my plan, and this is what I am gonna implement every single day. Is I'm gonna do things with passion and things with intention. It doesn't matter how small the task is, even if I'm going to the gym. I feel like for the longest, I have half assed my workouts at the gym because either I was too tired or I didn't know what to do, but I'm done with that. Every single thing that I do in my life day to day, I'm going to do it with passion and I'm going to do it inten with intention because that's going to help me create a more present life that's going to make me more abundant. It's going to make me more open to new opportunities, more open to new manifestations and new things in my life period guys <laughs> point period i feel like i rambled for so long but let me take a little sip of water because i feel myself getting dry over here a little side note oh now my mocos you guys i'm so sorry um <laughs> a little side note i hope you guys enjoy this new setup because i wanted it to be more like we're kind of talking um sitting on the couch very vibey because i normally film um at my desk and i feel like it's just too like school teacher like i'm over here trying to teach you something but i wanted it to be very much relaxed and where we're just gonna have a little girl to girl i was gonna say girl and girl <laughs> girl to girl or woman to woman conversation i need to stop saying girl i'm just so used to saying girl but i need to start saying woman 
because we are women um oh my god you guys i feel like i rambled so much but i hope you guys found a lot of value in what i had to say what i learned on my trip and what i want to start implementing every single day and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube you guys it is cafecito con daisy i upload my podcast episodes on there where you can see me in person instead of through audio form and you can also comment so you can kind of add anything you'd like to add you guys um i love to think of my comments as more of like a way for us to be able to connect so if you go onto my youtube and just leave a comment i love responding to you guys and i love to see your perspective if you ever have a different perspective than me you guys please 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 leave a comment and let me know because i'm always so open to hearing like how other women think and like kind of like what your idea or is you know is on the subject in the subject that i'm talking about so make sure to leave a comment you can also leave a comment letting me know what are the topics you guys want to hear here on the daily cafecito i'm also going to try really hard you guys to get my first guest on here so if you have any recommendations on who you would like to see on the daily cafecito go ahead and leave me a comment here on youtube uh, don't forget to follow the daily cafecito podcast on instagram i'm constantly sharing your guys's dms on there because i love to kind of inspire other women and let you guys know that we're a community and yeah you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and make sure to subscribe and leave me a rating you guys it does help me out so much to let me know how i'm doing how my podcast is doing so yeah you guys i hope you guys have an amazing week and i just realized i didn't say happy monday but happy monday to you beautiful amazing capable women and i will talk to you on next week's podcast bye you guys